Okay, number five of the top five tools you should not buy at Dollar Tree. 12 in one screwdriver set. Um, they call it a set, it's really funny. But it's just a bunch of crap inside of a handle. Chances are none of these sockets are the sizes you're gonna need. It's all soft metal. You have two sizes of flathead screwdriver uh, tips. No one really uses flathead anymore except for prying stuff open anyways. I think the only thing that these things are good for are if you're gonna keep them in your junk drawer to have a screwdriver on hand, but anything other than that, if you're gonna use it in your garage or something like that, not worth the headache. This um, snap here is just a crappy little nubby, as you can see. This will come open really, really easily and you'll spill your pieces everywhere. It's not worth the headache. Okay, number four, the handsaw, 12 inch. Guys, this is a total piece of crap. Yeah, it's got nice looking teeth and it's nice and shiny. But the reality is it's a real shit plastic handle and the blade is super, super flimsy as you can see. Will it cut wood? Yeah, probably. Are you gonna get stuck in the wood a lot of times? Yeah, probably. Uh, but as you can see from a QC standpoint, this nut isn't even in that, uh, it doesn't even look like the right size nut in there and it's not wedged in correctly. This handle's gonna fall apart, it's gonna break apart. I don't even think it's good for a one-time use. Stay away. All right, number three, the four-in-one pocket tool and the eight-in-one multi-use knife. I don't think it takes a genius to realize that really none of these things are gonna work. Maybe the knife would cut through a piece of tape. That's about it. We know the corkscrew is not gonna open a bottle of wine. We know that these scissors are not gonna cut through paper, and we know the entire thing's gonna rust if it even looks at water. Stay away from these. The only thing that these would be good for is stocking stuffers for little kids if they're looking for a pocket knife that they're just gonna lose anyways. Number two, the pocket knife. You may think a pocket knife for a buck is a good deal, right? Well, it kinda is, but it kinda isn't. Uh, the clip broke off of this real easily, just taking it out of my jeans pocket, and the knives or the blades on both of these are super dull. They don't stay sharp at all. They can barely even cut through cardboard. The only thing these would be good for is, again, as a stocking stuffer for a kid, or if you're going to keep it as an emergency somewhere, if you've got to stab a friggin' muskrat or something, but that probably wouldn't even work either. Stay away. All right, the number one tool to not buy at Dollar Tree. Is a hacksaw. Guys, why would you buy a hacksaw for a dollar anyways? This thing's a total piece of shit. It's got a plastic handle. It's got a plastic adjustment right here. It's got a plastic screw right here. I'm surprised that the, the blade's actually uh, metal and not plastic. I'm gonna take it over here. This is a threaded rod I have in my vise. I'd be surprised if it does anything at all. And... Oh, where'd it go? Take a look. You can barely even tell where I was cutting. This thing literally does nothing. So stay away, of course, from the hacksaw for a buck. Guys, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Let me know what you think of the list. Let me know if you like any of these tools. If you do, I'm very surprised. Um, leave a comment below, like, subscribe, uh, and share, and have a great day. I appreciate it, guys.